Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1702, James II's daughter Anne Stuart becomes Queen of England, Scotland, and Ireland, following the death of William III. I guess that made her the first of her name. In 1775, an anonymous writer publishes African Slavery in America, which was the first article in the American colonies calling for the emancipation of slaves and the abolition of slavery. In 1782, in what is known as the Gnudenhutten Massacre, 96 Native Americans in Ohio are killed by Pennsylvania militiamen in retaliation for raids carried out by other Indians. In 1813, the Royal Philharmonic plays its first concerto. In 1817, the New York Stock Exchange is founded. In 1841, U.S. Supreme Court Justice and legal historian Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. was born in Boston. In 1855, in Niagara Falls, the first U.S. Railway Suspension Bridge is crossed. In 1867, the British North America Act is passed in the House of Commons, which serves as Canada's constitution for more than 100 years. In 1868, Japanese samurai kill 11 French soldiers in the port of Sakai near Osaka. In 1884, Susan B. Anthony addresses the U.S. House Judiciary Committee, arguing for an amendment to the U.S. Constitution granting women the right to vote. In 1887, Everett Horton of Connecticut patents a fishing rod made of telescoping steel tubes. In 1894, the state of New York enacts the nation's first dog licensing law. In 1898, Richard Strauss's Don Quixote premieres. In 1910, Raimonde de la Roche from France is the first woman to earn a pilot's license. She died in a plane crash. In 1913, the MLB Federal League organizes with six teams, including the Chicago Whales, who had built and played at Wigman Park, which we now call Wrigley Field. Also in 1913, the U.S. Internal Revenue Service begins to levy and collect income taxes. In 1917, the U.S. Senate introduces the cloture rule, requiring a two-thirds majority to end filibusters. In 1921, the Spanish premier is assassinated while exiting the Parliament building in Madrid. In 1924, the Castlegate mine disaster kills 172 coal miners near Castlegate, Utah. In 1927, Pan American Airlines incorporates. In 1930, Babe Ruth signs a two-year contract for $160,000 with the New York Yankees, prompting the Yankees GM to predict that no one will ever be paid more. In 1934, Edwin Hubble's famous photo shows there are as many galaxies as the Milky Way has stars. In 1936, the Daytona Beach Road Course in Florida holds its first oval stock car race. In 1941, Hugh Mulcahy of the Phillies becomes the first MLB baseball player to be drafted into World War II. In 1943, 335 Allied bombers begin attacking the German city of Nuremberg. In 1945, Phyllis M. Daly is the first black nurse sworn in as a U.S. Navy ensign. In 1946, New York City issues the first commercial license for a helicopter. In 1948, the U.S. Supreme Court rules that religious instruction in public schools is unconstitutional. In 1949, Mildred Galars, infamously known as Axis Sally, is condemned to prison for treason. In 1947, Egypt reopens the Suez Canal after the Suez Crisis. In 1958, author and Nobel laureate William Faulkner states that U.S. schools have degenerated into babysitters. In 1959, today is Groucho, Chico, and Harpo Marx's final TV appearance together. In 1962, the Beatles, with Pete Best and not Ringo Starr on the drums, debut on British TV performing Dream Baby. In 1964, Malcolm X resigns from the Nation of Islam. In 1965, the first U.S. combat forces arrive on the beaches of Da Nang in Vietnam. In 1966, Golden Boy closes at the Majestic Theater in New York City after 569 performances. In 1968, Bill Graham's New York rock venue, the Fillmore East, opens in Manhattan. In 1971, in what was called the Fight of the Century, Joe Frazier 
beats Muhammad Ali. Also in 1971, Radio Hanoi broadcasts Jimi Hendrix's Star Spangled Banner. In 1972, today was the first flight of the Goodyear Blimp. In 1973, the Eisenhower Tunnel, which is the world's highest and the longest in the U.S., opens west of Denver, Colorado. In 1974, Charles de Gaulle Airport opens in Paris, France. In 1978, the first radio episode of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams is transmitted on BBC Radio 4. In 1979, Phillips demonstrates the compact disc publicly for the first time. In 1980, the first ever festival of rock music gets underway in the Soviet Union. In 1983, U.S. President Ronald Reagan calls the Soviet Union an evil empire. In 1985, a failed assassination attempt on Saeed Mohammed Hussein Fadlala in Beirut, Lebanon, kills at least 45 and injures 175 others. In 1987, the 17th Easter Seal Telethon raises over $35 million. Also in 1987, after four years, NBC TV airs the last episode of The A-Team. In 1989, The Heidi Chronicles opens at the Plymouth Theater in New York City for 621 performances. In 1991, plane loads of U.S. troops arrive home from the Persian Gulf. In 1994, at the 20th People's Choice Awards, Tom Cruise and Julia Roberts win for motion picture, and Tim Allen and Roseanne Arnold win for TV. Also in 1994, the U.S. Defense Department announces a smoking ban in all workplaces. In 1996, Fargo, starring Francis McDormand, William H. Macy, and Steve Buscemi is released. In 1998, the Screen Actors Guild award Gloria Stewart with their Founders Award. You probably know her best as Old Rose in the Titanic. In 1999, American baseball player Joe DiMaggio passes away today. Also in 1999, the Supreme Court of the United States upholds the murder convictions of Timothy McVeigh for the Oklahoma City bombing. In 2012, Toyota recalls 700,000 vehicles over safety concerns. In 2013, North Korea terminates all peace pacts with South Korea. In 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappears during a flight from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing, China. In 2016, Turner Classic Movies show several of Claire Trevor's films to honor the 106th anniversary of her birth. In 2019, the U.S. National Women's Soccer Team sues for equal pay by filing a federal gender discrimination lawsuit against the United States Soccer Federation. In 2020, Italy announces it is locking down 16 million people in the northern region of Lombardy, including Milan, as COVID-19 cases reach 5,800 with 233 deaths. In 2020, today the United States hits 521 cases of COVID-19 with 21 deaths across 33 states. And lastly, in 2021, the U.S. Treasury Secretary says the COVID-19 pandemic has had an extremely unfair effect on income and economic opportunities for women. So that was March 8th. I'm sure that you enjoyed it. And I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and make a comment. See you later.